Manchester United training ground turned toxic by furious Sir Jim Ratcliffe email. As Thomas Tuchel gate crashes Laura Woods live on TNT Sports to talk about Manchester United job with Rio Ferdinand, staff members at Manchester United have been left enraged by an email from the club's new part owner, Sir Jim Ratcliffe. The Ineos chief, 71, acquired a 25% stake in his boyhood club earlier this season and has already implemented sweeping changes behind the scenes since the deal, which gives him and his team control of sporting operations, was signed off. While Radcliffe's arrival has been broadly welcomed by the majority of people affiliated with the club, it now seems as the British billionaire has ruffled feathers after sending an email to staff telling them to clean up their act. The email, which saw Ratcliffe brand some areas of the club's training ground in Old Trafford a disgrace, has not gone down well in some quarters, with The Sun claiming the memo has turned the atmosphere at Carrington toxic. In the email, Ratcliffe wrote, I had a good tour around the some of the facilities. I am afraid I was struck in many places by a high degree of untidiness, in particular the IT department which frankly was a disgrace, and the dressing rooms of the U18 and U21 were not much better. These standards would not come close to what we would expect at I EOS and we are a chemical company. Manchester United is an elite sporting organization. It's a small thing in many ways, but unless an organization has standards and discipline, it will not succeed. I would be grateful in future if we adopt the proper standards of housekeeping everywhere. It reflects poorly on the club if we have visitors, young player parents, new players and in the media and they see we don't care enough to keep things shipshape. Ratcliffe's criticism of the, the club's facilities is not the only memo which has caused a stir within the walls of Carrington this week. The Manchester United chief revealed to staff earlier this week that the current work-from-home policy, which was adopted by the club during the COVID-19 pandemic, would be coming to an end. He then proceeded to make his position clear to anyone disgruntled employees, with The Guardian claiming he then said, If you don't like it, please seek alternative employment. In other news, Thomas Tuchel gatecrashes Laura Woods live on TNT Sports to talk about Manchester United job with Rio Ferdinand. Rio Ferdinand has jokingly declared he discussed the Manchester United job with Thomas Tuchel at the Bernabeu. The Bayern Munich boss was in high spirits as he gatecrashed TNT Sports live coverage ahead of his side's heartbreaking Champions League semi-final second leg defeat to Real Madrid. Tuchel, who will be standing down at the Alliance Arena at the end of the season, has been linked with replacing Eric Ten Hag at Old Trafford. The Dutchman is under huge pressure with the Red Devils sitting eighth in the Premier League table, with Tuchel believed to be on the club's shortlist should Ten Hag be sacked. And TalkSport also understands that the ex-Chelsea manager would be keen on a return to England to take over at the Theatre of Dreams. It appears that United legend Ferdinand was doing his best to gauge whether the speculation is true as the pair were caught in conversation prior to kick-off in Spain. Ferdinand was seen with his hand around the German space, who in turn laughed while covering his mouth. Host Laura Woods and ex-Real Madrid star Steve McManaman, who won two Champions League titles with Los Blancos, were keen to ask what the two were chatting about. After Ferdinand insisted he was blown away by the 50-year-old's relaxed attitude ahead of Madrid's 2-1 win, McManaman quipped, what about the Manchester United job? To which a smiling Ferdinand replied, that was the final part of the talk. Where are you going? Tuchel has made no secret of his love of the Premier League, having won the Champions League, Club World Cup and UEFA Super Cup while with the Blues. Discussing his future with TNT Sports, he remarked, it is no secret that I loved it at Chelsea. I loved it in England and I loved it in the Premier League for sure. It was a very, very special time and I remember it very well. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.